He is a singer, author, and now officially Dove Award winning Songwriter of the Year, which was presented to him at the 49th annual GMA Dove Awards. Matthew West joins us live from Nashville. Thanks for joining us today, Matthew. Oh, thanks for having me. It's good to talk to you again. Congratulations on the award. Tell us what this means for you. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a real honor. It's actually kind of a, a funny story. My my wife and I, we've been married for 15 years, and uh, a lot of my friends have said, man, you know, we didn't know this was your first Dove Award. They thought I had won more than one Dove Award. And uh, But the true story is, is that for 15 years, there's only been one Dove Award winner in my family, and that is my wife. And uh, because one of my first, my very first record won an award for best like art direction, and she was one of the art directors on that album. And so she got a Dove Award instead of me. So we've laughed about that for a long time, but uh, finally uh, I can uh, balance out balance out our bookshelf. Right, exactly. Now they sit side by side. Now you, yeah. were, you were also recently honored for uh, your number one hit, Broken Things. Tell us about Broken Things. I, I love the video and I love the song. Um, how did that song come about? Well, it's on a record called All In, which really the, the, the theme and the heartbeat of this album is just really encouraging myself as well as anybody who hears this music to to go all in for Jesus like never before. And um, Broken Things was really inspired by the question, you know, what are the things that keep us from going all in and from living our best life? And, you know, really one of the first things that kind of knocks us down right out of the gates a lot of times in life is just defeat and uh, shame and guilt and that feeling that maybe somehow we're disqualified from being used by God. You know, it's like we read the Bible verses like Jeremiah 29, 11, that says God knows he has, knows the plans that he has for us. And yet um, we're so defeated thinking that maybe God's plan for us is, is no longer active because of the choices we've made. And, and so I just wanted to write a song that really reminded my own heart that, man, God's not done with me. And uh, there's a seat at the table with, with my name on it, just like the song says. And so it's really that heartbeat and that reminder that God's in the business of using broken things, not the perfect ones, but the ones who've got some messes. That's beautiful. I know that your fan base is very interactive. And as I was doing some research on you, Matthew, over a hundred songs that you've written, what has been the response to Broken Things by your fans? <laughs> Well, I've I've written over a thousand, but maybe oh wow, I'm sorry, way maybe, more than 100. a hundred. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe only a hundred good ones. So. <laughs> you know, uh, people uh, people's response has been powerful. I mean, standing on it's so. I, I mean, I wish people could have the same. It's such an honor for me, basically, to go to see the process from an idea of a song and a feeling in my heart, and then putting that to music, and then having the chance to record it, and then having the honor of it being played on the radio or on a television show, and then going on stage and hearing the crowd sing that back to you, or even more significantly share with you how that song has spoken to them in their life. I mean, it is, it's such a powerful circle of events that really reminds me that that God is a God of full circles. He brings these moments in our lives about full circle. And I think he's working a full circle plan in our lives if we'll choose to follow him. So I get a glimpse of how he's at work um, through these little three minute songs. And all it does is fire me up to go back and start writing some more. Yeah. You've written, as you said, you've alluded to your new album, All In. Tell us a little bit more about the rest of the album. Well, you know, it's a it's an album full of songs that, for one, they fire me up. You know, there was I kind of gave myself the assignment like you can't have an album called All In without songs that just, you know, challenge you and fire you up to to do just that, you know, to reach the end of your life with no regrets. And there's a line in the song that really captures the whole message of the album. And it says, I believe that one day I will see your kingdom come and I want to hear you say, Welcome home, my child. Well done. And that's why I made this record, because I feel like sometimes we all just need that charge and that reminder that wherever you are today, God has more for you. Even if you're living your best life, there's still deeper depths that he wants to show each one of us every single day. If we'll take his hand 
and let him lead us to the fullness of his plan for us. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Matthew, for writing such amazing songs that really do that. They really challenge us every single day. And congratulations once again. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful to, to uh, be, uh, not be the only Doveless uh, <laughs> Award winner in my house, finally. So uh, uh, thank you for talking to me. It's always great. Appreciate it. Well, let's listen to that great song, Broken Things.